Oh, yeah. We got a Black Friday special here. I got a Meeblip geode synthesizer. Uh, this synthesizer is pretty cool. You've got two oscillators, a really cool filter, and uh, a bunch of other things that you can get your hands on, like the uh, modulation with the uh, oscillator or on the filter. Uh, you've got all the kind of standard things um, like glide, attack, uh, and decay. You don't have the ADSR like you would with a, a full kind of, you know, uh, analog synthesizer, but this thing is a blast. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to play a MIDI track, and then I'm going to start uh, modifying the sounds. So pay attention. This thing's got a lot of killer stuff. And you can go from everything from that kind of classics round Mogish kind of funk stuff from the 80s to a 90s TB303 with a ridiculous resonance. So listen up. So I got a little drum track going along with it. Uh, that's just to give a little rhythm context. But here we go. So we're uh, right between the two oscillators here. I'm going to pan it over. Or not pan it. I'm only hearing oscillator A right now. So I'm going to switch some of the waveforms so you can hear it. So a lot of cool waveforms there. You can look it up online from the MeBlip website, and they'll tell you what all the waveforms are. But this thing just begs for you to mess with it when, when it's uh, playing along. Okay, now I'm going over to oscillator B. It's got a noise on this one. Just kind of cool with the filter. I'm going to start messing with the filter now. with the LFO. All right, now I'm going to drop it an octave. So that's kind of cool. So you can drop the uh, second oscillator down by an octave, which is this little... Set a little subs. So now I'm going to add back in the first oscillator. All right, let's detune the two oscillators. All right, back to the same octave. Speaking of detuning, we're going to go back over to the LFO and set it to modulate the oscillators. I've set the glide on. Back off. Let's mess with the decay. Thank you. 
Wow. <laughs>